I was on my holidays when they kind of offered me the role, but um, definitely took it with both hands and I'm excited. Meet Sabrina Frederick Traub. She loves her footy and she's really good at it. She's really enjoying her football. She goes back and slots the opening goal of the game. Melbourne got 1-1. Sabrina made her AFL debut in the first televised women's exhibition game last year and has since been appointed one of two AFL female multicultural ambassadors. And she's only 19. It's a massive pressure but an amazing honour at the same time. For the first time, the Multicultural Ambassador Program will include two females who will be joined by 16 other players to help promote some of the many diverse backgrounds in Australia's game. There's so many women that play football and to be picked out of all of those girls, I think I have a duty to almost reflect what we're trying to do here and push the women's game forwards. I think this season it's more just getting amongst the other cultures playing the sport. I think that's the main thing here is getting people who aren't Australian playing the Australian game. Sabrina grew up in England and has family ties in Jamaica and Antigua. It's good to show that someone who isn't Australian playing the amazing sport it is because I mean I see people playing the game and you just think, why can't anyone play? And I think that's why I'm just proud to be able to wear a jumper and go out there and play. Sabrina will be joining the likes of her footy idol and now fellow multicultural ambassador, Nick Natanui, who was born in Sydney to Fijian parents. So Nick Natanui has been one of my idols from a small age and being able to be alongside him as an ambassador now is like insane. Sabrina started playing footy at the age of 12 with the Pinjarra Tigers, a bit of a sidestep from soccer, which she had been playing as far back as she could remember. Being English, you're kind of pushed to be playing soccer at a small age. And then I got into the footy scene where I was trying to use it as a tool to kind of get amongst the school kids at school and kind of fit in. The school footy coach saw some major potential in Sabrina at lunch and recess where she'd have a kick with the boys and encouraged her to try out for the school footy team. They were focused on me playing soccer. I mean, footy was on my own completely. They didn't even know I was playing for the school team in my first year. Um, it wasn't until the second year that I actually told them. So I think they were pushing for me to <laughs> stay with soccer and it was, footy was just a thing that I wanted to do. Sabrina became the first girl to trial and make the team. The following year, Sabrina tried out for the Mandra female footy team, the Peel Thunderbirds, playing alongside 19 to 30 year old women. She made the state teams and the first international team during her five years with the club. It was last year in 2015, Sabrina moved to South Fremantle Women's Football Club and during that season made the second AFL women's draft at pick number four for the Melbourne Demons. I think it's exciting and all the women are totally like ready for it. We're just excited to have the chance to show what we have. Sabrina has impressed with her athleticism and ability to push forward with her physicality and contested marking a feature of her game. Her soccer skills played a big part in her development as an AFL player. Neither coaches were kind of saying you need to give up one or the other because um, soccer helped footy as much as footy helped soccer. And in soccer anyway, I used to get up with my height and be able to head the ball as a striker. And I used that a lot of my AFL style in getting up as high as I can. Sabrina is now about to embark on her second season with South Fremantle and she's got a few goals for the season up her sleeve. As a player, I'm actually pushing for my best and fairest in my club and also to make the state team again would be definitely an aspiration for me. It's a big year ahead for Sabrina, who will be juggling a uni degree with her footy and the duties that come with her national multicultural ambassador role, along with her role as a female ambassador for the West Australian Football Commission. It's basically just getting female football out there, using social media, getting around to schools and basically going to assemblies and talking about what we want to accomplish in the next few years. After 14 years, Sabrina has decided to hang up the soccer boots and turn her focus to footy. She says her heart is with AFL and is encouraging others her age to give the sport a go. I definitely think the girls that have tried it or haven't tried it, you need to get involved because it's something where there's a pathway now. Whereas before there wasn't a pathway and people dropped off. I think it's definitely something people should give a go. I mean, if you don't like it, that's fair enough, but most of the time I can guarantee you're gonna like the sport.